Alrighty guys, what's going on today? So today I'm going to be talking to you about the KRK Rocket G48 versus the Yamaha HS5. Um, these are two wonderful speakers, wonderful studio monitors, um, made from two um, you know great, great companies uh, for for mixing and, uh, and mastering purposes. Um, but you know they do have their differences they do have their strengths and weaknesses and i kind of wanted to go over that because it seems that one of the biggest battles in studio monitors is between the krk rockets and the yamaha hs series um of course to start out um obviously the krk uh eights that i have right now these are eight inch woofers and the yamaha hs fives these are five inch woofers so um of course right off the bat you're not going to get the same frequency uh, response. Um, I, th I believe the, the KRK uh, Rocket G48s, they go down to 36 hertz. Um, I believe these only go down to 43 hertz. Um, so, you know, even when you listen to them and do a side by side comparison, um, do note that you aren't going to get as much bass response um, out of these uh, smaller monitors. Now, of course, um, Yamaha, the HS5s, uh, they're great uh, for home recording. Um, lots of producers who are just starting out um, love them. People who have smaller rooms um, love them. They're, uh, they're you know they're they're really similar uh, or they're really good for smaller sized uh, rooms. If anything, um, you know if you're working in like a mid or large mid size or large studio, um, these might be uh, you know not really enough um, for 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 larger rooms. Um, the cool thing is, is that they uh, have always delivered supreme accuracy. Um, you know, they they uh, they have a really nice flat frequency response, um, and they're just great for for really true, honest listening and mixing. Um, of course, if you look on the back here, you can see that they do have uh, your regular level controls. Um, that you would expect, but also you have room control here too. So you can adjust um, your high trim and your room control uh, with the tones and um, uh, frequencies available right there. So you can kind of, you know, tune them to your room if, if you need be, uh, if you need to do, do so. Um, uh, I would say that the pros of the Yamaha HS5s, you know, uh, for starters, they're, they're active studio monitors, which is awesome. Um, they're super accurate. They have a really natural sound to them, um, you know. Though they don't have as as much of a uh, low end frequency response, um, they do just really, really well uh, across the entire spectrum. Uh, and of course, they are biamped, and uh, they come with room control and high trim too. Um, now on to the Rocket G uh, G Four Eights. Uh, of course, these are eight uh, eight inch woofers, a little bigger. They have um, a bigger bass response. Um, they're definitely, uh, you know, geared towards uh, dynamic um, producers. Uh, they they do have a really wide sweet spot. Um, they used to have kind of issues in the low end, um, but since Generation Four has come out, Rockets addressed that really nicely. Um, and I think that these are some of um, the best, uh, you know, low to mid priced studio monitors on the market right now. Um, Pros of the KRK uh, Rockets, um, they are really, really excellent value, uh, especially when you, can, when you consider that you can get an 8-inch uh, set um, for closer to the price of a 5-inch um, set of Yamahas. So, you know, they're great for people who are on a budget. Um, they have a really nice uh, sweet spot. They do also have real-time EQ settings um, on the back here with a little LED rather than just the high and low trim. So you do get a bit more control in your room as well. Um, there's also an Android and iOS um, app that's available for quick setup adjustments, which is really, really nice too. Um, I would say, you know, if, if, if you're a beginner um, and you have a really small room, the HS5s are great, and I would, I would definitely recommend those. Uh, if you're wanting to, to take a step up, you have a more uh, mid-sized room that you're working in, um, and you're just getting more serious about producing, I would highly recommend going with the KRK um, G4-8s. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any uh, insight into you know why you think um, one of these is better than the other, or, uh, or if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, let, uh, let me know in the comments. Alrighty, guys, take it easy.